flat iron you use is really important. I could not for the life of me get my hair to curl with the flat iron I was using before. You definitely have to find one that says that you can use it as a flat iron or you can curl it. This one does. It's rounded a little bit more than the one that I had before, so it makes curling your hair really easy. This has titanium plates in it, which is better for your hair. I'm gonna use some clips, use a pick, my brush, my paddle brush. I'm gonna use my Iron Shape 11, my Paul Mitchell Firm Spray at the end. What I do is I take my hair and I section it and I don't get really crazy. My hair is not really, really straight on the top it is, but in the back, I'm going to show you. Look at, look at this crazy stuff I got going on there. I have some crazy hair, but it's okay because I'm going to work with that. You have to work with your hair. If you have some curly hair, you sometimes you just have to work with what you have. Sometimes if you fight against it, you just can't. So I'm going to take some of this Iron Shape 11 and I'm going to put it on there. I can hear it's raining. I have a skylight so you might hear the rain. I'm gonna take my flat iron, I'm gonna go all the way here, I'm gonna just take it and right away, like that. Again, I'm gonna take little sections. Little sections seem to work better for me. This one still has a spray on it. So I'm gonna take it up here, I'm gonna start, that's the product. I'm gonna turn it as I'm going and then just release it. Now this first layer that I do just helps get some body. I'm still going to, after I pick it out, sometimes I still have to go over it and curl it a little bit more. You'll see. So I'm gonna go in here with this, again, turning it. And this, I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave that kind of wave. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take another section. And I'm gonna clip it up here. I'm gonna take it. I promise before the end of the video, I will have makeup on. I'm gonna take it, turn it like that, like that. Now, if you wanna do like more of a wave, then you can go like this and leave that end out. See how you have that out? Take it and curl it. If you're having problems curling your hair with a flat iron, it might be the flat iron because I was using one and for the life of me, I could not get it to, to work. It would not work. This one is a dream. Probably the most expensive flat iron I have ever owned. Absolutely worth the money, in my opinion. So I'm gonna go here. Spray this on. This Iron Shape 11 helps protect your hair, but it also for me helps keep my curls in too. Adds a little bit of shine. I just love it. Okay, so it's a repurchase for me. I have been using, yeah, I didn't do that right. I've been using this, um, this Iron Shape 11 for years, and recently I tried another one and I can't remember. I thought it, it might've been a Paul Mitchell product. I can't remember. I hated it. I ended up returning it and going and buying this because it just is the best. Look at look at those curls. Take another. I like I said. I find that the smaller the section, the better this works. Oh, so if that happens, no baking. Just go ahead and do it again. see where we're at right here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to go like that with my pick. Okay? Because I like a wavy look in my hair. But if I feel like, oh, I want a little bit more hair, you know, cut curls here and there, then I'll just go back over it with my flat iron. I don't have to add more product. And I'll just put some more curls in. Okay? Just take little sections out. So that's why I said the first layer for me is kind of building body, and then the second layer for me is just kind of putting the details in my hair. So anywhere where I feel like I need a little bit more of a curl, I just run it, run it through again, but no product. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, and you can see the difference. 
And my hair never comes out looking the same way. Anytime I do it, it just never looks the same. Just whatever way it turns out for that day. So again, I'm gonna take this, split it. Yes. Take it. Now, as I said in the beginning too, that I use this at the highest setting. And I have to, because my hair is just really, I don't know what it is, because I have a little bit of a wave in my hair. I already have product down there. Um, I already have a wave in my hair, so you would think it would curl really easily, but if it's not a high enough setting for me, it just won't curl my hair. I'd, I'll, just, I'll just be doing it over and over and over again. That's just how it is for me. But be careful doing it. If you don't think your hair will, you know, handle it, then you're going to want to make sure that you have it on a lower setting. I'm going to leave this because at the end I'm just going to do a little bit in the back. So now I'm going to have to go back over it. Let's just see how it is. See how it's got that wave? I like that wave. But I want to add a little bit more of a curl. So I'm going to go back over it in areas. And I will put curls in. spray this in a big section of my hair and flat iron it and then I'll check it when I'm done. I do it this way so you can see. And I can see, okay, I like that. It's, see, I like my hair to be messy, curly. I don't want it to look perfectly curled. This looks kind of flat though. So I need to put something in over here. Okay, so now what I'm going to start doing is taking my hairspray and then I scrunch it. See how they just bounced up my curls? I'm going to do the same with this side. So I spray it underneath, I kind of tilt my head to the side, and then I scrunch it. And I'll do the same with the back. I'm going to get my makeup on and I'll be right back. So that is it. That is how I curl my hair using a flat iron. So a couple things. First, I love this flat iron. I think it's fabulous. It's the nicest flat iron I've ever had. I was using a flat iron, as I said in the video, it would not, I could not get it to work because it was, it wasn't meant for curling and using it as a flat iron. So if you don't want to get this one, what you have to do is look for a flat iron that you can curl or you can flat iron with it. They're not all made the same, they're not. And I would recommend getting one that has a titanium instead of the ceramic because it's better on your hair. Don't use it all the way at the highest setting like I do. I'm just telling you what I do because I just know my hair. I will just be sitting with it and I feel like I'm frying my hair out. I sh you know, you should be able to just curl it like I did in the video. Use a heat protectant on it. I like the Iron Shape 11. I've been using it for years. I absolutely love it. And then the hairspray that I have, I love that. There's a, a bedhead one that I was using before. I just started using the Paul Mitchell, so I like that too. Because what I like to do with it is I, I spray it and then I kind of scrunch it and that's what makes it even more curly. And if you have thicker hair, you're going to want to take more sections. If your hair is straight, you're going to want to take more sections. See, I, ha I can work with my hair. I have curly hair underneath, so I don't have to curl all of it. I want to curl. So the first set that I do, I just kind of go through and I just curl everything and I go back and then I add some more curls that I'm not going to take and use the pick and you know, pick through. I really hope that this was helpful and informative. If it was, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it. We'd really appreciate it. If you're not already following me, 
what's holding you up? Just click that button below, hit the subscribe button. I share new videos every single week. Make sure you click that notification bell too so you are notified anytime I share a new video. You can follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and I will leave the, the details below with everything I share in this video. Now recently, at Ulta, they had this flat iron on sale, by the way. I don't know if it's still on sale. I did put it out on my community page, so hopefully those of you who are interested took advantage of it. If not, you can check that out as well, too. They had, they had other flat irons for sale as well. So thank you guys so much. I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.